Okay, so P sub 40 is find the 40th percentile. So at this point, you would take 40 divided by 100. Now this is the way the book does it, and multiply it by 50. Where did I get the 50? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So basically, we found the number 20. So that is the index. So here is my 20th number. So what we did was notice we got a whole number. So whenever you multiply and get a whole number, then you're going to take the 20th and plus the 21st divide by 2. So you're going to take 1.8 plus 2.2 .2 divided by 2 equals 2. So basically, I want the 40th percentile, which is 20 numbers. I want there to be 20 numbers below. So I need to take the 20th, average it with the next one, and um, that gets me. So the 40th percentile is 2. So a 2 would be right here in between the 1.8 and the 2.2. Well, now I need to see an example when it doesn't come out a whole number. So let's try the 25th percentile. So we're going to take 25 divided by 100, or you could just do 0.25. I want to know what is 25% of 50 numbers, so that would give me 12.5, which is not a whole number. Okay, so when I got a whole number, I took that one and the next one and I averaged it. If I don't get a whole number, then I go to the next, which would be the 13th. Now remember, this is not a value. This is just the index. The 13th would be right there. So the 13th number would be, so P sub 25, would be 0 0.9. So this is P25 and P40 would be 2. You are not rounding. If this came out to 12.1, you would still go to the next. You did not get a whole number, go up to the next. Kind of the same process of median.